But it's not just our physical well-being that can be helped by data. Mental health is equally as important. Now, mental health historically has been a rather stigmatized uh, topic, but fortunately today, that taboo is really being lifted. In fact, it's rare that you'll not be either affected yourself or you'll have family or friends or loved ones who are affected by mental health issues. In fact, in any given year, one in four of us will be affected by a diagnosable mental health condition. Now, I'm delighted to announce today that Microsoft has just entered into a new research collaboration with the global leader in digital mental health delivery. It's a remarkable company called Silver Cloud Health. Together, we're going to be exploring the use of AI and machine learning to deliver personalized mental health interventions. The goal ultimately is to make lives better for those who are suffering from challenges such as depression, anxiety, and stress. So it's a great pleasure to welcome to the stage Ken Cahill, who is the Chief Executive of Silver Cloud Health. Please join me. Ken, thank you for coming over to join us. So, thank you for the opportunity. Um, should we start by just having you tell us a little bit about uh, what is Silver Cloud? Yes, yeah, certainly. Good morning, everyone. Um, SuperCloud is a digital mental health platform, so it enables earlier, easier access to essentially a digitized version of what you would do within face-to-face -face therapy. SuperCloud comes from over a decade of research into the area, essentially looking at how can we deliver access to uh, tools and techniques, how can we deliver these access and ensure that they're effective in terms of engagement, in terms of dropout rates and, and clinical outcomes as well as a core part of what we do. We spun out from that research in 2012 um, as a true mental health platform, not just a tool or an app in the space. Um, we've over <clears throat> 30 programs across the range of acuity from your kind of minimum or mild uh, uh, challenges around well-being, you know, work-life balance, resilience, through to full interventional programs for challenges around depression and anxiety, as you mentioned, and then also looking at the comorbidity, the coexistence between chronic disease and also mental health challenges that would exist there as well. Uh, we deliver the platform now to about 300,000 users almost. Um, uh, we we kind of use the term clients more, more typically than, than, than patients. Right the way across the spectrum in terms of minimal mild all the way into more severe and enduring mental illness. And proud to say one of the kind of core parts, our North Star is really around outcomes. And we've about, on average across the 300,000 users, we would see 65% of those users would achieve what would be classified as a a, uh, a significant clinical improvement on the platform. Great. And Silver Cloud isn't a pure digital solution, as it involves humans in the loop. Can you say a little bit about how, how the platform actually works? Yeah, certainly. So one of the core parts of Silver Cloud is to use a, this kind of concept or idea called CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, if anyone has been to, been to therapy, it probably was the, the standard that that therapist would have used. So we're digitizing that, delivering it online and making it effective in terms of, of delivery. CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy, as, as it sounds, is focused on kind of two core parts. The cognitive part, which is sort of how you think, and the behavioral part, which is kind of how you do or things that you do. And looking at then how that links together with this concept of your thoughts, your feelings, and then your behaviors, and how they're linked together in, in, in a cycle. Um, if I think of a, a very simple example, you know, the trigger is I burn the dinner. Um, the, that's the trigger. The thinking then from that is I think bad things uh, from that then what will happen is I then sort of step into the feelings which is I feel worthless or inadequate and then the behavior that reacts from that is that basically the, the I snap at my family or my wife or my children or indeed I, I sort of feel and, and withdraw from from that particular situation it's a very simple example but as you can imagine that scales up through bereavement challenge around depression anxiety the whole way up in terms of the, the spectrum uh, that is there and SuperCloud is a toolkit. It's really designed to help somebody break that kind of cycle of thinking that's there in terms of, of, of delivery. Um, you mentioned about the user journey. Um, so what we have built into SuperCloud, the unique part of the research that we have done, is, is ensuring that there is a human in the loop helping to guide you through. Uh, focus really around kind of the core part of keeping you engaged in the, in the program and the structures. 
Um, over your kind of eight, 10 week program, they're guiding you through, they're sort of providing you with short, positive motivational feedback to keep you engaged in terms of delivery. And the core concept is that what Subacled is, is a clinician extender, not a clinician replacer as well. So Microsoft, I mean, we're, we're totally delighted by this collaboration, but from your point of view, why did you want to collaborate with Microsoft? You know, I, I think it was kind of two parts for me. Uh, obviously honored to be here representing the great teams at, at both Microsoft and indeed at Silvercloud. Um, but for me, the kind of core concepts were, were two things. One was impact. So a sort of shared ethos and, and focus on impact and out, outcomes was, was, was number one. And the second part, uh, joint position, uh, was focused on ensuring that responsibility around machine learning, uh, responsibility around AI, ensuring what we're delivering is, you know, always going to do good and is, is delivered in a very transparent way in terms of privacy and security. So I think those together in a true collaborative form that we've worked on is, uh, is, is one of the big reasons. Great, and uh, it, it's early days of course, but we've already started to think about some of the ways in which we might use machine learning and, and, and with this tremendous opportunity that we have uh, together. Um, some of the thoughts that we've been having uh, initially concern the idea of stratification, the idea that given a very large uh, cohort of users, we can start to use machine learning to look for patterns for, for groups of people uh, who might respond in similar ways uh, within the group to a particular intervention um, and, and therefore really take the first steps towards true personalization in this in this very data driven way. And uh, one of the uh, one of the phrases I sometimes use is the, the paradox of personalization. So from a from a machine learning point of view to deliver technology that's tuned to you as an individual, uh, the best way to do that is to look at data from a very large, uh, very large cohort. Yeah. And of course, no, sorry, I think you're absolutely right. I think it's that personalization of delivery is key. I think if you deliver generic content to a generic population, the difficulty that you'll have there is low engagement, high dropout, and, and resulting in, in poor uh, clinical improvement, and that's not what we want to do. So if you, if you picture back and take everything back to sort of the real world in terms of sort of traditional face-to-face -face therapy sessions, your therapist is guiding you through a path, but that path is kind of ever-changing in terms of content or or you know, particular examples or tools or techniques that you can use to improve and break the kind of the, the concept of, the, of some of the negative thinking stuff. Mm, yes. So, um, so I've been looking down our list here. We the goal with this personalization is, of course, to make predictions and then to make actual interventions. And tell us a little bit about the interventions and what we're looking for. There. Yeah, absolutely. So, what we're delivering in terms of interventions will, will span, as I said, the, the acuity spectrum uh, in terms of delivery. So we want to deliver something that is on time, in context, on demand, and is essentially, you know, as, as one of the users on the platform coined before, this is really about therapy in the 21st century, about getting easier, earlier access, but not to something inferior. This is about easier, earlier access to something that is designed about outcomes in terms of delivery. And for you know for both of us and for both of our teams that's what we're here for it, you know for microsoft and for silvercloud it's about improving people's lives and and focusing them on the uh, on the outcomes absolutely ken it's been fantastic Thank you. thanks thanks for joining us thank you